The final Egyptian god card has finally arrived in the studio. Obelisk, the Tormentor. So, this is the last of the three Kotobukiya Egyptian god card figures, statues, whatever you want to call them. It's Obelisk the Tormentor. Very detailed, very cool. Um, you can take a couple looks at the different sides of the box and like the other ones, he is uh, sort of highlighted here. You can see the other two in shadow. Uh, yeah, he's about to be joining his friends very shortly, so... So, can we get our instructions? Maybe you should have followed these when you were doing your raw. Nope! I, uh, solve an issue or two. Alright. So, let's get to slicing. You gotta slice all this tape. Interesting that Obelisk also has wings, despite not really being like a... Dragon? A dragon, or whatever. I don't think he's a winged beast, but I guess he is a winged beast. Oh boy, he's he's heavy. I feel like the other two weren't this heavy. That's a dense boy. Yeah. He's a chonker. How much works out. You can kind of tell, too. Unlike the other two that fly, he just kind of throws hands and stays on the ground, for the most part. But he does have wings. Okay. He looks pointy. He's very pointy, Jesus. Like, okay. This is just, you know, the front. But this thing is pointy. Like, I don't, I don't know if it comes from a camera, but like, there's a lot of like, sharp angularness to this guy. And um, you turn around. Sheesh. So detailed too. Like, it really looks like a statue. Yes. It looks like the final boss in a JRPG. I never noticed that Obelisk had six pack abs. Does he? Yes. Let's see. Yeah, Obelisk works out. Jeez. Yeah, he's, his wings are much more like, uh, just straight, like. Maybe uh, that means he's not meant to fly. I mean, do you think a guy like this could really even fly? If he did, I'd be scared. This is his right wing. I don't want to know about his politics. <laughs> he has a left wing, he's got a right wing. If Egyptian gods were uh, different voters, you might find. That's a, an offshoot video. Obelisk is definitely conservative. I mean, but he's blue. Maybe he'd, he'd vote blue. Slifer would vote red. And uh, Ra is a libertarian. <laughs> a centrist. He just wants to see it all burn, like Merrick. Yeah, his wings are in. and he, Yeah, so we get this hand that I suppose you can replace. I'm assuming, like maybe, is it this one? Well, wh where's the thumb? There you go. Wait, what do you mean? The thumb tells you which hand it's supposed to be on. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So, so it'll be this one. It does look removable, although like I am super nervous about this sort of thing, so I'm just not gonna do it. All right, uh, this is how he's gonna look, and I guess I just, Lift him up and put these in his feet. Put what in his, oh, the box. Yeah. Okay, got him. I am smarter than a fifth grader. Maybe not. Stop lying. Okay, cool. So there's Obelisk. Um, I think this is as good a time as any to show him next to his friends because we now have all three Egyptian god kinds. This face says he has no friends. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, and we're back, and we've got all three of the Egyptian gods. Select the Sky Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentor, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. I think they're all beautiful, and uh, I still gotta get a Kotobukiya Merrick to go along with Ra, but other than that, I mean, I, I think that these are, these are looking really quite nice. In fact, Got these guys, Kaiba and Yugi are with their gods, and we're just missing Merrick. He'll be here soon, but the family is almost complete. Drop a like if you enjoy these types of opening videos. Subscribe to APS Plus. We'll see you in the next one. Pass to him.